that there'll be coming a day that each and every one of us will pass away from this world. And see, everything that we see in this world will pass away. These stores will pass away. These trees will pass away. This asphalt will erode. The birds and the bees and the flowers and the trees will pass away. And yes, every one of us will pass away from the moment we're born into this world. We start a process of dying. From a baby to an adult, we start the process of dying. And have you considered that thing today? We come to Trader Joe's and we come to Mod Pizza and we come to Crumble Cookie and Kinders to buy food with our families. We go to the stores and we visit family and we go for a walk in the park and we make plans to do these things. But I ask you today, have you made a plan for eternity? Where will you spend eternity? The Bible tells us that the human being is made in three parts. That we're made in flesh, that we're made in soul, and that we're made in spirit. And the flesh is obviously the flesh that we can see with our physical eyes. Our soul would be more like our personality, but our spirit. Now our spirit is what we've come to talk about. Your spirit, the Bible says, is made in the image of God, and that it's eternal. That spirit is always awake always listening and always attentive to the things of this world and the next ultimate perfect sacrifice on the cross who died once for all men and that's something so beautiful because you know a righteous a man won't even die a normal man won't even die for a righteous man but jesus died when we were still yet sinners the bible said when he knew that we were going to deny him when we were going to profane him when we were going to talk about him he still died he still loved us for a chance for us to come to Him. So that's why we're out here today. We're just sharing the good news of the gospel to let you know that Jesus loves you, that Jesus is real. I never believed that Jesus was real until I got born again, until He revealed Himself to me in 2008. The Bible says that if anyone is born again, He is a new creation, that old things have passed away, and behold, all things have become new. And that's the truth. A man named Nicodemus in the Bible once came to Jesus by night and said, we truly know that you are sent from God because nobody can do the works you do unless you are sent from God.